I have the best two and a half inch SSD enclosure you can buy, and I have some experience with this. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the channel, and let me just set the video up here. So this is not the most exciting. It's a two and a half inch SSD enclosure, but I'm gonna explain, and I'm gonna give you a quick story in a second on why this is the best one that you can buy right now, right? And I have some good experience with that, and it's gonna kind of maybe open your eyes if you're looking for one of these. Without that, I'm also gonna go ahead and show you just the speed of this thing, but I'm gonna show you just like why you don't really need to buy something usually faster unless you're doing video editing to a really high degree. So I recently did a video on this thing here. It can go up to 2,500, 2,800, I'm sorry, 2,850 megabytes per second. And that was like 100, almost 200 bucks for the drive and the enclosure. Not a bad deal, but check out my prior video on that. I also have a video coming out on this OWC Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, which is going to challenge that one, so stay tuned for that video. But today what I have here is I have this, it's called the Mercury Elite Pro Mini. Here's the box. I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking, but basically it's full aluminum enclosure, and uh, basically what happens is there's four screws in the back, you take those out, you can slide in your SSD, which I'll get into in a second. You slide the SSD in there, and uh, very simple inside, but it's all aluminum. And then there's, it sits at a weird angle like this, and then there's two more screws you gotta do just to screw the hard drive into the actual, the SSD into the enclosure. And now it looks like it's flat, you can see those pictures. And then you screw it back in, and now you have this kind of complete aluminum box that looks great with MacBooks, although this is silver. It just looks elegant, looks good, right? But why is this one of the best? Well, let me tell you a story, and then what I'm gonna do is just show you a couple of quick tests and uh, hopefully you guys will kind of agree with me when I'm all done. So long story short is I have an iMac over there, 27 inch, it's behind this one, and I had it since 2017. Actually, it had a, it had a, um, you know, a drive that was actually an a, uh, HDD, but it had the little flash on it as well, so it wasn't a full SSD. So what I did is I took one of these exact enclosures back then, looked slightly different, but basically I, I booted off the, uh, the OS on that. So I had installed OS on this, and I booted my iMac over there, completely off of this. So I, I kind of bypassed the original hard drive. I went through this, right through that cable. It's lasted for about six years now. I've never had a hiccup. It's been on 24-7, 365. It runs through a Evo. I think it's a QVC Samsung drive. So it's not even an Evo. It's a QVC that's whatever. It's a little bit slower. And I've done 500 videos of 4K video editing on that thing through this thing. And this is only a two and a half inch, and it's about the same speed, four or 500, you know, three to 500 megabytes per second. So you tell me, do you need something like this? Do you need to spend that money? So for basic tasks, these things are great because they stay cool. There's not thermal problems. If you look over here, and right now I'll have these links to this, but on, um, on Amazon, this is still $39.99, so it's not cheap for this thing. It's a little bit more expensive. You can obviously pick these up plastic-wise, you know, if they're made out of plastic, for 10, 20 bucks. But this is definitely better right here. And uh, you know, if you go to the OWC website, here it is, you can see a nicer picture of it. And at the end of the day though, they sell it with all these drives in it, but just don't do that, you know, just buy this $39.99 one and put your own SSD in. What I did is I put this Levin drive in right here, and uh, this is called the JS600 Pro. I had a video on this a couple of videos ago. This is only like 41 bucks. Sometimes it's like 35 bucks on sale. It's a full terabyte as well. So it's just kind of a cheap way to get storage. And so I put that in here. It's not the fastest drive, because um, it's you know obviously not a Samsung, but it's really cheap and it really is kind of robust. I've always used these. They work really, really well. So anyways, I put that in there. And uh, this is, you know, obviously, so I mean, for both of these, it's like 70 bucks or something for the full terabyte. But you get that quality of the enclosure. You can see, obviously, in here, just some pictures and stuff. And, it, you know, go if you check out, I'll have all links to this if you want to just read about it. All right, so here's the drive I used right here. It's $43.99 right now. But again, I've seen this on sale for quite a bit less. They also have a version without DRAM just for, like, if you want to do backups. And I think you can get like a two terabyte version for like, I think like 70 bucks or something. So that's really actually a good deal. All right, and uh, here's the, Ace. this is the enclosure I told you about that's 2,500 bucks and uh, 2,500 bucks, 2,850 megabytes per second. I'm going crazy here. Um, that's what it is, not 2,500 bucks. It's only $139, so, but that's actually more expensive. And then obviously, here's the other one I'm gonna do soon. So stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna do a video on this one over here which is only 89 bucks. All right, let's get back to this. So the thing I wanted to show you here is just, let's just assume that you are, you have this drive here and you're one of those people that watch all these videos and you're like, man, 2,850 megabytes per second. I need it, I need it, I need it. But you're not doing like massive 30 or 50 gigabyte files almost on a daily basis. You're doing basically work documents or anything else. I mean, if you look over here, this is a five, you know, I can just go like this, it's 5.3 gigabytes. So if I do get info, well, actually 5.43 gigabytes, so about five and a half gigabytes. 
So if I go ahead and just take this and I move one, two, three, and I move that in, watch this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's about 15 seconds, all right? So it's not gonna be the fastest setup. And again, you can get faster drives than the one I have in there. But what I'm trying to say here is, for most people, 5.4 gigabytes is gonna be a lot of space, all right? If you do that and you have to spend 15 seconds, this would take it, this would do it in about three seconds or something, somewhere in that range. So the difference is gonna be what? 12 seconds, but for the average person, 12 seconds is maybe blinking and looking out the window at something you're distracted at, right? So save the money and get this thing. It runs way cooler, and it's actually a much, you know, just it's much more simple as far as you can add drives to it. It's cheaper than dealing with hot NVMe, you know, N NVMe drives and stuff like that if you don't know what you're doing. At the end of the day, let's just do a speed test on this as well. Again, this is not the fastest setup or anything like that, but if I go ahead in here and I just want to, let me just make sure I'm selecting the right drive here, and I do the Mercury Elite. Um, start it up. So we're going to get about 380, let's say, on the rights, 300, and let me see here, just what I thought, 80, uh, 83, 383 on the reads. So that's using black magic test. So you're about 380. I've seen up to 390 on both sides. So it's not going to, you know, you have some overhead with the cables and stuff. Um, now keep in mind, this cable is actually pretty cool. I'll show it to you. It comes with USB on one side, and I like it because it comes with USB A and C on the other side as well. So that's pretty nice, right? You get all this functionality, 39 bucks, but at the end of the day, think about what you're buying and think who you are. I would say 90% of people, this is definitely fine. If you have to wait an extra 11 seconds, you're fine. Um, but really, if you're looking for this thing and you just wanna make sure that you buy the best one out there, I can only go off of experience, you know, and I've had, been, this is one thing I've tested now for six years. I've never had a glitch on it. So, I mean, obviously, are you gonna have the same experience? I don't know. Um, maybe the manufacturing has changed over the six years. It's got the same name, the same company. OWC seems like they make great products. So at the end of the day, if you're thinking about something that you're serious about, I just can't recommend this enough just based off experience. But again, do your own research. I always say I don't do full reviews. I'm just one person. You guys got to do your own reviews. I'm just showing you what's available and you guys can make the decision and girls. So although I think I get like three girls that watch this. So all right. Anyways, I'll wrap this up. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, I hope this helps people. I know I've been doing a lot of hard drive stuff lately. And it's just because I go through iterations. I'm gonna, I've been doing hubs and hard drives. I'm going to do a lot more Mac stuff coming up. And then I have some keyboards and some other monitors and stuff. So subscribe to my channel if you can. There, you know, I have a lot of products now that just came in and stuff, and I just have to go through them. So just trying to go through them, and then I always have links to them. And uh, support the channel by subscribing, and we'll talk to you in a day or two. Peace.